Maggie. Is this is a good segue into, uh, into uh, what we're going to talk about. I'm Cameron Case, my partner, Dave Miles. Uh, I'm with the Las Colinas Lions Club, and I'm the liaison to Marinewood Cert. And about, oh, maybe 10 plus years ago, time does fly, a group of lions uh, were aware of the uh, OAS in San Rafael, Office of Emergency Services, was uh, providing training for earthquake preparedness. And so we participated in the class and got trained and qualified. And, uh, and shortly thereafter, uh, John Hammond, who just spoke a minute ago, raise your hand, John, give you credit. Uh, John became our CERT chair uh, within the Lions Club, and we quickly realized the importance of uh, bringing this out to the community. So as of now, we are the sustaining sponsor for Marinewood CERT, working with the, com with the community uh, and Amy and Jeannie, the, most of the committee now is not Lions, it's community-based. So uh, having said that, uh, the challenge was how do we get out to the community? So John, a number of years ago, said let's divide it into workable solutions. Uh, we're 1,700 homes, 6,000 people. We divided it into CERT areas, of which we have 40-some CERT areas. And you can see that in the back of the room. Uh, the important thing is, moving forward, we began in collaboration with uh, Marinewood Fire Engine 58 with the CSD, Dan Connolly with the county, and the Lions Club in coming up with some funding for the emergency trailer that sits on the side of the uh, firehouse now. So having said that, uh, I'm a member of CERT Area 18, of which I believe is on Miller Creek at 596, going up to Queenstown, and I think we have probably six or seven CERT trained people in that area. Um, Having said that, Dave Miles. Okay. Yeah, well, thanks, Cameron. And uh, as Cameron says, we're a volunteer group, so we appreciate uh, everybody volunteering, and we'll take anybody we can and just help the participation. We have a steering committee, about nine people. We meet every other month or so, and then, but we're interested in the, the grassroots of just your neighbors also. So uh, there's a few things that went on uh, behind the scenes here for the last couple of years. Uh, just I'll just go over a few of them. And by the way, at the end of the meeting, back in the uh, back of the table, we have uh, various uh, uh, handouts that are very handy for all that sort of thing. But um, the main thing we created after John Hammond's good work, uh, the certain area maps, and there's the big laminated map on the corner. There's about 40 areas, each with 40 homes. So, uh, and we have a notebook that, and you can get and look at this on the Marinewood uh, CERT.com website, and you can go to maps. You can find out your address and find out what CERT area you're in. Uh, we created the CERT trailer through the funding finance through uh, Engine Company 58, the county through Damon's uh, help, and the Lions Club, and we financed that nice CERT trailer that stands on the uh, far side of the firehouse over here, and it's pretty fully equipped already. We've sponsored Get Ready classes, and we've held them here at the Marinewood Community Center and elsewhere. Uh, there's been several block parties uh, with certain areas 26, 30, 31, and 18, and we've updated our master list of certified residents within the community with the help of Diane Ayers. We've had numerous radio checks. We have a radio room uh, in the firehouse uh, for the civilian radios, and we have about at least a dozen or more walkie-talkies in the CERT trailer. We can always go over those details at other meetings when anybody wants to volunteer. Uh, we man a CERT booth on July 4th at our Burnwood breakfast here, and we man a CERT booth uh, in the September car show sponsored by the Lions Club. We've also sponsored First Aid for Disaster Response, which is FADER, uh, helped out by our, uh, the Marinewood, uh, or the uh, community, um, medical, medical, the medical, medical Reserve uh, Corps, yes. And that's, that's why they have got that, that session down. So there'll be another one coming back, and I think maybe Maggie or Diane will have the, the next one of those coming up. Uh, some of us have canvassed the area, uh, Cameron went around last year and handed out a lot of uh, little handouts for our neighbors in each little area. And we had a very good drill about one year ago here. It was a tri-community radio drill. It was Marinwood, it was uh, Mount Marin, and Lucas Valley. And uh, it was all cooperation. Uh, it took about most of the morning, and we uh, did a simulated tabletop, 
and uh, actual emergencies were radioed in, and uh, we prioritized those, and then we uh, would send it upstairs and uh, gave a synopsis to the, the, the firefighters and whoever could really help us out. And we will try to continue some of these drills in the future. Again, we are a volunteer organization. In, uh, in a couple of minutes, uh, or a minute here, uh, Cameron and I will do about a minute and a half skit, just to bore you a little bit. And it's just, uh, it's grassroots. If you want to be a, a slight leader, you don't have to think about 40 homes to tackle and meet all your neighbors. Maybe just meet uh, one, two, three, or four of your neighbors. And uh, we, we have a couple of sheets that are in the back room. And, uh, you know, one of them uh, is about introducing yourself to that to the neighborhood and you can just fill in your, your address and it tells what CERT's generally about and how we can actually help your neighbor because the first responders aren't going to be there. So it's neighbor helping neighbor. So you can get one of these in the back room and then we can gather just a little uh, data about your neighbor so you know how many pets they have. Uh, you know, maybe their own emergency uh, number for somebody out of state or whatever, if they have a swimming pool or any other, or if they're into amateur radio or whatever, we've got a check off sheet for that. So, so now uh, Cameron and I are gonna do a little, little demo of what that might be like as uh, he introduces himself to one of his neighbors. Stand by. My neighbor's a little strange, but I'm going to knock on his door. <laughs> <laughs> He's also theatrically minded, and I'm not. He's a straight man. information in case of an emergency. Our goal is that in the event of a disaster, earthquake, emergency, wildfire, whatever, is, is, to, uh, uh, is to help you and your family and your pets and make sure you're not forgotten. Professional first responders uh, probably aren't going to be able to be able to help us at that point in time. We are known as CERT Area 18 in our block of homes from this street to that street. Uh, our goal is to identify neighbors, uh, finding out if they have any special special needs, and if by any chance you have any special skills. I don't know them yet, but if you have any special skills. Um, in any event, and then also, uh, by the way, uh, you have a, uh, do you know how to cut a, turn off your gas valve? No, no, but, but, but you know, I'm Cameron, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm a very private person, really, and, and I, I thought I don't want any of you people coming by and asking me about all this disaster preparedness stuff. I, I don't want to be bothered, but I don't know, after you gave me your little spiel here, I, I think maybe it's a good idea. So, so I mean, I mean, so say there's an earthquake and, and my big TV falls on me and on my head and everything, one of you guys might come and take the TV off my head? You bet, Dave. Oh, no, well, okay. Then that, that's okay. Right. Dave, do you know how to turn off your gas valve? No. All right. Hey, do you have a minute? I can, no, I, I've got to be somewhere right now, but... <laughs> uh, how about tomorrow? 10 o'clock tomorrow? Can, we get, can I stop by then? Yeah, yeah, 10 o'clock tomorrow. That, that'd be good. Yeah, make sure you have your shoes on. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, hey, Cameron, um, yeah, thank you. And, and, and thanks for coming by. Uh, you know, I, I think this stuff is a good idea. 
it is a good idea, Dave. We want to take care of you, your family, and any loved ones. And if there's somebody that maybe you need to, that we don't know and you know, maybe you can help. Maybe I can help too. Okay, thanks. See you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah.